Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing today? If you're new here, I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, soul health, growth, fitness, prosperity, all good, good things. Today, I will be doing a message as it resonates for twin flame, soulmate, divine love, fated connection, however you reconcile this beautiful gift of love in your heart. I do everything from a masculine perspective, what's in the masculine's heart space as of the moment. If they could say anything to their beautiful divine counterpart, what would it be? And the overall energy of this dynamic, beautiful collective group of souls. So I'm going to get started with masculine message. It's great, beautiful, wonderful as always. And one thing that has been coming out a lot lately is the truth. The truth is like this masculine is getting overwhelmed in a good way with many, many deep and profound truths. Now, what they've kind of are going through at this moment in time is the truth of unconditional love. And that's the gift that you give to each other. This, this deep, profound love is so pure, it's so raw, it's so vulnerable, but it is unconditional love. And unconditional love, as you know, is loving freely without ask nor condition. So they've come to the truth of this and they know that you share this unconditional love for each other. And it's so beautiful. When they come to these deep and profound truths, one thing that's come to the forefront of this masculine is fear. And this, this overwhelming fear that they've carried with their, I want to say during their life while they inhibit here on earth, they've kind of navigated with this sense of fear. It has, a lot of it has to do with some self-worth challenges that they face and this, this fear of rejection, specifically as it pertains to you. So when they come to the truth of this connection, the truth of the love, all of this truth, this fear creeps in and it is of you rejecting them. It's natural. Uh, I mean, I'm a, a twin soul back in physical reunion. We went through all of this in our, our journeys of separation, but there's always that, I want to say that little voice that is like an annoyance and like a fly that just won't leave you alone, so to speak. And there is this fear, but they're overcoming that fear. They're knee deep in their soul searching journey, discovering who they are. That's what you do for each other. This is a soul journey and you are a mirror soul of each other. And regrettably, you have to go into the separation phase to do the soul work, so to speak. So that's where they're at right at the moment. Unconditional love and coming to the truth of that is so profound for this connection. And just standing in that, I wanna say unconditional love space. But another thing is about this truth that keeps coming to this masculine's energy and this aura is they truly want it bear their hearts and tell you how they truly feel and they're pushing away this fear i feel like divine source god is is assisting them pushing away the fear and and removing that obstacle that they encounter i want to say more often than not if they could say anything to you at this moment what would it be beautiful beautiful message and i love this all so much they they want you to know that they know you are their divine feminine or counterpart. And you are an absolute angel that came in at, it wasn't the perfect moment in time in their life because they had a lot of third party garbage, noise, pollution, but you came in as, and they, as an angel and you awaken them to see what they needed to do in order to get to I want to say the pure version of themselves. So they de deem you as an absolute angel and they absolutely know that you came in and 
you did truly honestly disrupt their life, but in a good way. And you helped them see these third party blocks that they needed to remove from their soul path, so to speak. And this is all a result of you going into separation. So separation is not in vain, even though it hurts like no tomorrow and it feels like somebody ripped your heart and stomped on it because it truly does because this love is not explainable. You are sometimes left with more questions than you are answers and it just seems to come about when you're living your life and but it's it's all divinely orchestrated. It truly truly is. There's been such momentum with this Twin Flame Collective and this energy in the universe is absolutely bizarre, wild, and crazy. And for many, the separation is ending. And that is because you have unwavering faith and unconditional love for each other. And many of you are viewing this as a gift now, as opposed to a curse, because sometimes it does. Like, why would you come into the most beautiful, deep, profound love and for it to be taken away? because there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Because when you come back into each other, you're meant to be pure and do greater good by the world. And you already are. A couple of other messages for your beautiful loving souls are, I wish you were here next to me. I miss you 100%. Sometimes we get hyper-focused on what we're going through when we're in that physical separation mode and you miss each other like crazy, but your masculine misses you just as much. And I know that question is coming to the forefront right now. Well, if they miss me, why aren't they reaching out? It is, as I said, divinely orchestrated. And there's always that element of fear there, but they do miss you like crazy and they wish you were there next to them. Also too, this resonates with the truth. I want to profess my love to you and thank you for always believing in me. This is a very rigorous journey. It'll kick you down many, many times, but you believe in each other. And this unconditional love that you have is beautiful. And they just, they truly want to profess their love to you. When I was in your physical presence, I was my true authentic self. Now, when you come to each other in the third dimensional world, originally, whatever form it may be, you are your true authentic self. You, this is the way you're meant to be in physical harmony. And, but it's not sustainable at that moment in time because you would erupt from the inside out. You are your true authentic selves. But then, regrettably, you have to go on your soul journey to come back into your true authentic self because there's too much gunk, garbage, pollution in your life that you need to remove and come back into purity. Also too, they want you to know that I'm going through a forced spiritual awakening. I feel like sometimes I'm losing control. Please be patient with me. And that's exactly it. This resonates with soul searching. It resonates with truth because much of the time when you're going through this journey, you are, I want to say unraveling at the seams and you don't always know what's going on. It's a spiritual awakening and that's what you do for each other. You awaken each other. What a beautiful gift. And then you have a domino effect around you and you emanate light and love and you just instinctively awaken those around you. So very, very beautiful. You know, they know you're, they're, you're the divine feminine. You're an absolute angel and you came in in their life in the perfect moment of time. As many of you know, this is a journey of soul searching, cleansing, purifying, clearing karma, just all sorts of stuff, healing. It, it is a great gift. Like how could, you know, you've been navigating your journey and then this beautiful soul comes in and helps you get to that, that state, that state of purity that no one else has been able to move you like this. And the body connections are very, one of those things that clear and they're known as the chakra and the chakras, sorry. And there's seven of them. 
And today the, the body connection that either needs clearing or is purifying is the seventh chakra. And that's the crown chakra. And it's located at the top of the head. It governs the pineal gland, the upper brain. When developed, it brings us knowledge, wisdom, understanding, spiritual connection, and bliss. Now that totally resonates with truth, but I feel like both of you are getting this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding of this connection and spiritual connection. Now what I love about this, this is a journey to oneself of oneself and your soul travels to spirit. And when you get to that spiritual connection, that's when the nirvana of this connection occurs. So it's very, very, very beautiful. I'm going to put the crown chakra up. It, I always say, you know, we live in a very low vibrational, polluted world. And even if you can take five minutes, a few times a day, just to cleanse and clear your energy and meditate, it is so, so important to clear the rubbish of the mind because the mind wants to, the ego wants to navigate your journey. There's so much disruption in this universe right now. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there's a force out there that does not want you together because you're raising the vibration of the world and you're changing the world, believe it or not. Just by your sheer essence of the love that you share, you can move mountains together. So it's so beautiful. But as I said, give yourself five minutes Inhale, count to four. Exhale, count to six. Focus on your stomach and just clear your mind. Focus, this is specifically the crown chakra. So if you can, focus on the color purple as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what's the overall energy of this dynamic, wonderful collective group of souls? And the this is just amazing and I love it so much. So intuition. Intuition is in the forefront right now. Both of your intuition is on steroids. Listen to it. It is the GPS of your connection. If we don't listen to our intuition, then it can be taken away as quickly as it came. You were given a gift to enhance that intuition. We all have it. Every single soul has intuition. But when you come into each other, you activate that intuition. That intuition tells you that this is your journey, that this is the love of a lifetime. That's your inner guide. And it is very, very prominent in your in your aura, aura or orbit at this moment in time. Dreams, um, it's coming out dreams and you're dreaming of each other. And I feel like you're busy in your dreams. When you're, when you're dreaming, believe it or not, you're sleeping, you're unconscious, but you do a lot of work. Your higher selves, your consciousness does a lot of work in dreams. That's why we dream. And you're dreaming of each other more often. And there's a lot of, I want to say, physical touch. And I can tell you with 100% certainty, before I came into physical embodiment with my twin, I dreamt of him nearly every single day, weeks before we came together. And when I first started dreaming of him, he was far away, he was in a distance. And then the closer we came to physical body, the closer he came in, the, in dreams and physical touch and all sorts of beautiful things. It, 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 it is absolutely beautiful. And I, I, I know that some of you are dreaming frequently of each other. You can be in the same dream at the same time. Love that. Passion. So you both have passion for each other, passion for your connection. But I want to talk about creativity. Right now, both of you are very passionate and you're about your soul call, your soul purpose. And that creativity is flourishing for you. And that's where the intuition comes in. It's gnawing at you. It's poking you. you. You need to do this now. And that is something that you need to fulfill in this journey. It could be anything. It could be 
acts of kindness for humanity, working with animals, you know, musician, photographer, poet. There's so many things that you're, you could be doing. Whatever your soul calls you to do, fulfill that purpose because you will flourish with abundance. So that is the message for your beautiful souls. As many of you know, um, signs, synchronicity, serendipity are part of your day to day. They always have been, but you just have not been aware. And now that you're aware and awakening, they're there as a reminder to you of, of this, of this journey. And the animal, the feminine animal spirit message today is squirrel spirit believe in yourself absolutely you are a princess prince goddess god you know you are and believe in yourself this journey will kick you down but get up with faith and love in your heart because as i said there's forces out there that do not want you to be together and sometimes those forces beat you down and maybe for some, it would, they, that force wins. But believe in yourself, believe in your journey. And because this is a journey of oneself and self-discovery, awareness, and love. And the masculine animal spirit message today is that spirit, a rebirth is assured. Yes, absolutely 100%. The old masculine, like that old, I want to say, habits, cycles, all of these things are, they've completed that and they've come into the new them, their true authentic self. So a rebirth is absolutely assured. It is assured for both of you, if you allow it, you know? And the overall animal spirit message today is swan, spirit, time for a deep dive and that's exactly it time for a deep dive swans are so very significant on this journey i always feel like swans represent the twin soul journey they're beautiful but the message is time for a deep dive and look at look look at what's in front of you at this moment and whatever isn't working for you remove it you know because your intuition is telling you what you need to remove and sometimes loyalty and legacy isn't always the right thing for you. You can do it in a very loving way and remove those obstacles and those third party blocks in a loving way. The best way to do it is just to say, hey, I need some time to myself to work on myself. No offense, but I just want to spend some time alone. Easiest way to remove those blocks out of your life. So that's what I have for you beautiful souls today. If any of this resonates, kindly hit subscribe, like, comment, love, love your comments, read your comments. I wish I could respond to everyone, but there's not enough hours in the day. And um, with that being said, I'm going to put some stuff in my description, a very powerful movement that I believe so much in, Hope Unite. And there's also a link to a video in there of what this beautiful organization does for our beautiful souls on earth. So give it a look and I'm gonna put the donation up as well. If you can give a dollar, two dollars, anything helps. Getting the word out there, helping people. This is what we're meant to do on this journey. And with that being said, have a beautiful, beautiful day.